Yeah, good performance by England. The All Blacks, I don't think, by their standards, will be particularly happy. They'll take the win. This is unusual to see. I'm cynical by nature. <laughs> They're applauding themselves and they still lost. Forgive my cynicism. Well, you think they'd won the way they're going on. The New Zealand team have headed to the dressing room. Richard Cockrell has got the England team in a parade up to halfway. And, uh, well, you think they'd won the game. But let's look at the scoreboard. I'm sure it says 25 to 8 to New Zealand. And a New Zealand side who, by their standards, didn't play particularly well. Good start. And they muddled through 60-odd minutes, really. Part of, part of it due to pressure by England. So an all-black side winning. They won't be as happy as these guys are. And they, got, and they lost by 17 points. Yeah. I think they're also paying tribute to the crowd support they got here. Which was very, very encouraging for them. Yeah, the music starts. And England... I think greatly encouraged by their performance. You know, they've got this uh, vision of this New Zealand team as the greatest uh, All Black side that ever was. And I think that they're greatly satisfied and pleased with themselves for getting as close as 25 to 8. To them, it feels like some sort of victory. <laughs> well, that guy's pretty happy. There it is on the board. So they're looking up at uh, the result. And the old land of hope and glory is ringing around the stadium. And look at them. They're going to go right around in a salute and a thank you to their supporters. And I suppose that's fair enough. But for a while it did look, look like a victory lap, even though the scoreboard says otherwise.